Looking good, they say, is good business. Now, a man's appearance covers what he wears from his outfit, his shoes, and his haircut. That's why men are usually particular about their looks. On this week's edition of Community Report on Channels Television, we take a look at barbing. And we know men are usually the professional barbers, but some women have actually joined that fold. It's those women we're looking at today on the show. They have been able to wade through the rejections and stand tall amongst the men. Welcome to Community Reports on Channels Television. I'm Victoria Ido. One of the most important parts of a person's body is the hair. It reflects a person's personality. For ladies, a good hairdo takes time and costs money. But for a man, a good haircut takes less time and less amount of money. Although it usually used to be just the low cuts, now different haircut styles have become very popular. The right selection in a haircut would not only add to a person's personality, but will enhance it as well. And that's the reason why men pay particular attention to their haircut. So when they see a female barber, they become a bit apprehensive. There are more male barbers than there are female barbers. Just a handful of young ladies have ventured into this very different world. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. Good to see you. Adiola Agbaje is a young lady with a drive. With her mother and her sister in the female hair business, she chose to be different. <laughs> My mom used to be a stylist, and that is what I learned from my shoes. But one day I went to barber shop with my friend, and I saw a lady cutting hair. And I'm like, really? So a woman can cut hair too? And I'm like, yes. So that inspired me, and the next day I went to meet the owner of the shop, and I make an inquiry of how I can be an apprentice. And the man was so impressed, like, I will be looking for this kind of opportunity, you know what, just come, you don't need to pay now. As time goes on, I will tell you how much to pay. So that was how I started. And so far so good with the journey. The journey has been so good. And I never regret choosing to be a female baba. And I like the attention I get from people. <laughs> I like the, the opportunity. Adiola has been at this now for the past five years. She tells us about her early days as a barber. When I first started, people don't really want me to cut their hair. Like, I get a lot of rejection, like, ah, I'm not sure you can cut my hair, I'm not sure you can handle my hair, I'm not this. I'm not. But as time goes on, people started giving me attention, and so it's not like it's just males cut. But they are always surprised, like, are you sure you can cut my hair? Are you sure you can do this? And I'm like, yes, I can. And by the time I deliver my services, it, they keep on coming back. And some people come with their friends, like, ah, you need to see this lady, Baba, you need to try her out. Because of how important a guy's hair cut is, having a female barber may at first be a no-no. Sometime last year, and... Uh... I was in a hurry, actually, you know, where I think we were supposed to have an event, my band and I, like, alternate sound, you know, so we all rushed in here, and it was for our first time, you know, and the other guys just, you know, got themselves, you know, themselves hooked with other barbers, so she was the only person, and she was like, I can cut you, I'm like, I'm very, very particular about my hairstyle, you know, so I was like... Ah. Are you sure? Like, I don't like to experiment, you know, and I don't like trying somebody new, especially now that we're going for a show. So she was like, you know, uh, if it's not good, I'm going to uh, refund your money. I'm like, it's not about the money, it's the way I look, you know. So cut the long story short, I give her a try, I give her a shot, and she did really great. I was greatly impressed, and since then, you know, so sometimes I would even travel, and I would cut my hair with her before I leave, 
And no matter how long I stay, I literally don't cut with anyone, but I say I wait till I get back and I come here and cut. The tale of betrayal and redemption of two striking individuals. It's not only that the ladies learn the job well, it's also that they have a special touch, which is of course different from a guy's touch. <laughs> I mean, you know, when guys, you know, when a guy is cutting your hair, his hands are very strong, Steve, and he just moves it. But she kind of just handles my head with, you know, and not just mine, you know, other, every other person that she cuts probably handles it with care and, you know, soft hands. And you just kind of feel like, you feel like you're going through a therapy at the same time while you're cutting your hair, you know, so it's just, it's just a feeling. And it feels great, actually. <laughs> I arrive at Faith Still House of Beauty to meet oh, Nelly Onyinye. Fine, thank you. It's good to meet you. Good to see you. After my NYC program sometime in 2009, I wanted to learn skill and not just because I actually wanted to learn the skill, I wanted to learn the skill just to please my mom because my mom is the kind of person that believes all her kids should have a skill. So I reluctantly learned the skill of cutting hair. And when I learned it, I had no intention of becoming a professional barber. Then after 2009 slash 2010, I finished learning and I went back to the white collar job. Then sometime in 2014, yes, 14, not like 2014, in the process of my marketing, I met someone with a very bad haircut and I couldn't just stand and watch him with that bad hair. I went up to him and I told him, guy, I beg, change your barber. I was like, what do you know about barber? I said, because I'm a barber. I said, wow, really? He said, yes. And I said, anyway, there's someone who would love to meet you that has been looking for a female barber. And he gave me the card and I went to meet the person. So that was how I started cutting hair professionally until I decided to take it full time. And as we speak, a young man arrives shortly to have his hair cut. First things first, get the clippers sterilized. It's possible the previous barber didn't clean the clipper and left residue on the clipper, therefore giving that um, customer irritation on the skin. Cover him up. This is the neck collar it's used to protect the cover cloth from touching his skin. You make sure it's properly covered so that hair doesn't get into his body. Then find out from your client what style he wants. And even if you've been cutting his hair severely because you never can tell if he needs to change his hairstyle or his haircut. So Ola, what hairstyle are you cutting today? Mm, I look hot. Should I taper the side like fake the sides or just all right? I should taper it a little. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then the cutting begins. Starting out as a female barber takes a lot of courage and determination because some challenges come with it. So um, people will just walk up and you tell them, I cut hair. And like, they're going to look at you in so much disdain. I'm like, you cut my hair? Hell no, you can't. And sometimes they've already judged you that you can't cut just because of you're a woman. Are there other challenges associated with being a female barber? Or oh, I've witnessed a husband and wife arguing. No, she can't cut your hair. Yes, yeah, she's cutting my hair. No, she can't cut it. Why must she cut it? Is she the only baba here? You're dating her. No, you can't tell me that. And I was like, oh my God. I've seen some clients who tell me, oh yeah, you can't look this good. If my girlfriend or wife sees you like this, they're going to crucify me. Over the years, only the uneducated ventured into the world of barbing. But Nelly has come to change the narrative. At first, I felt bad, trust me, I me. I can be very emotional. The rejection were crazy, but one thing that fueled my passion is the fact that I wanted to prove to people 
that there are no millionaire jobs, only millionaire mindset. For God's sake, I left the port. I had, even when I was working at first, professional as a barber, people were giving me offers to work in white collar jobs. I coupled with the fact that I wanted to make my dad proud because my dad, as far as I'm concerned, doesn't really believe that I have a job. I want to live a successful life too. I want my father one day to look up to me and say, come, not just call me Oye, but call me my brand name, Miss Fishy the Baba. I am proud of you. Until then, I'm not going to stop. I want people to look at me and tell me, girl, thank you. Because of you, I didn't give up. So has it been easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes. People think that Babas or stylists, they are no body. So I want to own my own so that I could help change the perception, the way people see us. That's one. Two, it's going to be like a lending voice to the woman community to let a woman know that she can do something with her hands. Three, also promoting skill. My own, my, uh, my, my own platform is to help promote people to believe in their skill, in their handwork. Then four, it's going to be like an inspiration center where I'm going to tell my stories, going to tell my challenges. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the reasons. Wait. Oh yeah, let me see. Don't touch it. I don't want to go and spoil. Hey, don't worry, I'm gonna be there. Mm hmm The way you're doing, they will know you don't know how to bab. <laughs> you, <can't go> <laughs> you need to see what his hair waves pattern is. Okay. You understand, so that you know how to place your clipper and so that you don't go chop off hair wrongly. That's why most times, if you see some hairstyles, some side looks as if rat ate the hair. The person even follow the direction of the hair, so he mistakenly chopped off that hair. So it's better to be safe than sorry. So, with no formal school to learn the ropes as a barber, the internet becomes the major source of learning. This is what it takes to become a professional barber. I spend my time on the internet. I have professional barbers in Atlanta, in New York, where I spend my whole day and time when I'm less busy studying and watching their page. There are some barbers I model my life, my style of cutting to. They are all in yours. And I, funny enough, I have the opportunity to chat with a few. So once in a while, when I'm stuck somewhere, I chat with them and they give me one or two tips. So the most important thing is the internet and secondly, your passion. If you don't have that passion, you won't hunger to learn more. For a man working with a female barber, it has its advantage. I'm happy to have her in here because like when I have some client coming in like, wow, do you guys have a female barber? Like they only believe that only in the state that they had something like that is going on. You know, the way they come in here, like, wow, you guys have female barber? I said, yeah. They were like, how is she? I said, whoa, she's good. Like, me, I told them that if I'm not around and they come in, like, they want to, like, okay, you are not around who? I was saying they should go to him because she's good. While Nelly walks in the men's field, we meet Dixon, who walks in the female section as a hairstylist. Well, I decided to do a dressing instead of barbing. Naturally, I never came across the idea of going to barbing. I think my first approach was just to uh, approach hair making based on where I started from. I started at in Bobby's signature as 2012. So back then, that was where I even came to find out that guys, men do make it because a lot of we have a lot of grown up men making it right there. So. I came with the knowledge that, okay, guys can actually make it. And I came to find out that it was fun, seeing them touching women, making women's hair. And it, that makes you, you know, it, it makes you feel like one celebrity. I found out that there was money in it for it first. And secondly, I found out that it actually exposed you to your world, the world of fashion. It makes you know what is going on out of, I mean, the fashion styles around you and all of that. So I got interested in it and I went for it. Yeah.